Hello everyone and welcome to Public Domain Theater. I have scoured the land, overturned every rock and hunted through many dark, sticky basements in order to find forgotten gems. I've yet to actually find any, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop looking. So for now, I'm going to keep showing you the films that are sitting on the shelves here at LCTV. Tonight's film isn't so much a movie, but a tutorial slash history lesson about professional wrestling called, wait for it, The Wrestler. Yeah! Wait for it again. Not the fantastic one that Darren Aronofsky directed with Mickey Rourke, but the one made by Jim Westman starring Ed Asner. Where's everybody going? You leave this room, you can't come back. This is going to be on the final. Well, they're lost. Those of you who are left know what you're getting yourself into. In The Wrestler, Ed Asner plays Frank Bass, a wrestling promoter who is consistently at odds with gamblers, gangsters, and rival promoters in order to preserve the honesty and fair play of his beloved sport. Frank is promoting Billy Taylor, played by real-life wrestler Billy Robinson, who is a gifted athlete but a virtual unknown. He wants Taylor to go up against Mike Bullard, played by real-life wrestler and this film's executive producer, Vern Gagne, who is older and much loved. These men take professional wrestling very seriously and seem intent that the audience does as well. That's probably why the plot takes a back seat to the wrestling matches and the practices. The film also makes room for a bar brawl featuring wrestlers Dusty Rhodes and Dick Murdoch and a cameo by Harold Sakata, forever known as the great Bond villain Oddjob. Here, boldly going against type and playing the not great Dusty Rhodes and Dick Murdoch villain Oddjob. I will say this for the film, Ed Asner gives it his best doing what he can with the plot that is consistently pile driven into the mat. And Elaine Gitfus tries to inject some romance by wooing Ed Asner. So how many of you out there thought that you'd never hear the words wooing and Ed Asner in the same sentence? Probably the same number of people who never thought they'd see a film with Ed Asner and steam bath in the same scene. Yep, it's coming. Get your popcorn and your soda. Make note of the nearest emergency exit and switch off your cell phone or pager. Public Domain Theater is proud to present Ed Asner, Elaine Gitfus, Vern Gagne, and Billy Robinson, not Mickey Rourke, starring in The Wrestler. Aw, uh, seriously? You're going to leave us hanging like that? Did Billy survive the kick? Did Mike win the match? Are Billy and Mike really the best wrestling names they could come up with? I mean, that's like calling the office of your wrestling company, Wrestling Office. Oh, that's right, they did. It seems as if even the writers tapped out of this one. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, yes, uh, the young fellow, in the front row with the orange and uh, purple shirt. You have a question? Yeah. Who's the greatest wrestler of all time? Gilgamesh. Who's the second greatest? Hulk Hogan. Next question. Uh, yeah, you in the back. Is Elaine Gitfoos Mary Tyler Moore's evil twin? No. 
Didn't you see ordinary people? She's the good one. Uh, yes, uh, right over there. Who would win in a fight? Ed Asner or George the Animal Steel? <laughs> Trick question. They're the same person. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what the plot of the movie was? No. Can you tell me why Vern Gagne thought it would be an interesting film? No. Can you tell me why they called it the Super Bowl? Yes, because there's no other sporting event in the world called the Super Bowl. All right, just two more questions. You notice that there are way more men than women here tonight? Uh, yes, you with the hot rod shirt. Why did they say that Hulk Hogan was a better wrestler than Rowdy Roddy Piper? Well, Piper was certainly better than Hogan at interviewing, and Piper is hands down the best wrestler turned actor. But for actually wrestling, I gotta go with the Hulkster. All right, this guy's been waiting patiently with his hand up in the air. Uh, yes? Uh, thank you. Man, is my arm tired. Yeah, uh, I was wondering if you knew exactly how many Golden Globes and exactly how many Emmy Awards that Ed Asner has been nominated for? 20 Emmy Awards and 11 Golden Globes. Daytime or primetime Emmys? Three daytime, 17 primetime. All for playing the same character? No. How many for playing the same character? 12 for playing Lou Grant. And how many different TV shows? Two. The Mary Tyler Moore Show and Lou Grant. Comedy or drama? Both. Any one? Six. Three for Mary Tyler Moore, two for Lou Grant, and one for playing Captain Thomas Davies in Roots. You seem to know an awful lot about Ed Asner. I'm a movie geek, that's my job. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a line on Facebook, Public Domain Theater, Twitter, at Cherokee underscore Jack, or YouTube, Paul Fish. Before I go, I've just got one final message for Phil the lovable rogue Moskowitz. What you gonna do when these 16-inch water snakes and fishermania run wild on you? You know, I should have come in a professional wrestling costume. I should have come in and had like, you know, a, a, cape and, a cape and a big mask on and should have had Brian interview me like, a, uh, like on the WWE. And Elaine Gitfus. I'm sorry, I can't say that name without laughing. Gitfus. And Elaine Gitfus. <laughs> Imagine seeing that name up on the marquee. It's like you get Asner. Get Foose. She kept the Get Foose. She hyphenated it. I forget what her married name is now, but it's Elaine Get Foose something. She, she kept the Get Foose, so good on you. Get Foose. Wait, monkey toast.